It is booty day. The best day, my favorite day. These are gonna be all of the must have, must do, staple, best favorite, non-negotiable, Matty Gray exercises that you have to do on leg day. These are the most efficient, best working ones. These are all the ones that I do on my leg day. So I'll bring you with me. Um, because this is the leg day that I usually do, I go to the gym and I do push weight. So we're gonna be using barbells, dumbbells, bands, a bench, you name it, we'll probably do it. So this isn't exactly an at-home workout. You will wanna go to the gym to do this workout. If you need an at-home workout instead, I've also got those on my channel, and I have a lot of different alterations and variations, a bunch of different workouts on my Instagram, so drop a little plug below, follow your girl. If you do like this video, give it a little like and a subscribe, it'll really help my channel grow. Um, so we will go to the gym. These are the basically my favorite things that I do on my leg day. So you can either increase the weight, decrease the weight. Um, up or down the reps if you want. You can do more rounds if you feel like you can keep going. You can do less rounds. Whatever your goals are, however you want to do it for you, that's what you should do. I think I normally do about four rounds. I'll put all the descriptions and everything that I do below. Um, I'll basically just bring you with me and film all the exercises that I do at the gym. So let's get out of here. So I always start with your classic barbell squat and that's just because I feel like it's a good way to warm up and I feel like it's a good way to activate your glutes. For me, it's one of the best ways to really concentrate on that mind to muscle connection. So I always go with a lightweight first and then I warm up. I try to find a weight that's heavy for about, I don't know, maybe five to eight reps and then I stick with that heavy weight. I'll do it for about four rounds and then I'll decrease the weight again and I'll do almost like a burnout. So I'll put about 25 pounds on each side at the very end and I'll maybe do like 15 reps until I really feel like I'm about to have some muscle failure. So some things to focus on while you're doing your squats, just make sure you're standing with your feet a little bit wider than your hips and you want your toes to be facing the front slightly pointed out. That's what I usually do. Mine are a little wider. You want to make sure you go down about 90 degrees and you want to drive your hips back. So you want to bend at your knees and your ankles should be pressing against the floor. Um, you should have your weight in the back of your ankles and the back of your hamstrings. And you want to sit into a squat position while you keep your heels and your toes on the ground. And you want to keep your chest up and your shoulders back. Okay, now that we know how to do the proper squat, we're going to do this super fun variation, which you basically pause halfway down on your way down to squat, and then you pause halfway up on your way back up from the squat. So there's two pauses, and it makes this squat a lot longer and a lot harder to do. So you'll definitely want to decrease weight for these ones because they will burn you out. Um, I don't actually normally do these back to back. I just figured... The gym was busy and I wanted to keep this barbell, so I went ahead and did my regular squats and my pausing squats as well. But normally, I'll do the regular squats, I'll do another couple exercises, and then I'll come back to do this variation of squat. Deadlifts I start in a very similar fashion, so I'll take a lower weight and then I'll kind of build up to see what's heavy for me for about 8 to 10 reps. And once I get that weight, I'll do about 4 rounds of that. So for deadlifts, just some things to focus on is to keep your weight back. You want to stand with your feet under the barbell, bend over, grab the bar. You want a shoulder width grip. And then you'll basically just bend your knees until your shins touch the bar. So the bar should be very, very close to your shins. And then you want to lift your chest up and straighten your lower back. So a lot of times with my breath, I'll take a big breath in, hold it, stand up with the weight, and then let my breath out. That's kind of what I do for, for my breathing. Make sure that all of your weight is in the back of your heels. So you don't want to be putting all of your weight forward. You want to keep it back. 
A lot of people think of deadlifts as really good for your glutes and your hamstrings, but it's actually really good for building core stability in your back as well. It targets all of the major muscle groups that are responsible for correct posture and for core strength. So it enables you to hold your back straight while basically the whole day long, just while you're engaging in your daily activities. It's got a lot of emphasis on maintaining a straight back throughout the movement, so it's actually really good for you. only pick one glute exercise for the rest of my life it would be the glute bridge so this is kind of the golden exercise for the glutes it can be done with a barbell like you see here but you can also just do it with the bench you can do one leg at a time you can isolate them you can do it with a dumbbell you can even do it with one plate that you lift up if you want you can do this one a bunch of different ways even a kettlebell works but basically you just want to shove up that weight keep your core very tight and squeeze your butt on the way to the top these are my favorites, so I do a lot of these. I usually do about 15 reps and maybe five rounds. At the end of each of my rounds, I hold the bar up at the top for about 10 seconds. So I actually usually like to do the cable machine kickbacks, but it was taken. So I did these ones instead, and they're basically the same thing, but these are just step up and kickbacks. So you just step up on the bench, and then you kick back. It's really good for your glutes, and this one's a lot easier too. Um, but with the cable machine, you can actually add weight, so that's always good. But this is a good kind of at-home variation that everybody can do. Bulgarian split squats you can do with a barbell or with dumbbells. I just got dumbbells here because it was easier. I was already on this bench, so this worked out more efficient for me. But the barbell works well too. You basically just go down in one lunge and then pause for a second, come back up. So I usually do about 15 for each leg and I'll do about four rounds. <laughs> Okay, these crab walks, they, they will kill you. So you basically sit back into that squat position and you're going to go all the way down and then all the way back. So I usually do it for about a minute and maybe four rounds, or at least I try to, but a lot of times I'll just do it for 30 seconds and then I'll be totally burned out. These ones really will give you muscle failure, especially if you do them towards the end of your workout. If you need to make them harder, you can add a resistance band as well. That's what I did for these ones. So the frog pump is going to be very similar to the glute bridge that we did earlier, except for your heels are going to be together and your knees are going to be pointed out. But it's the same motion where you lift up and squeeze, and we'll probably do about 15 for four rounds. <laughs> This next combination is just a fire hydrant into a donkey kick. So you're gonna lift your leg out to the side and then back up into that donkey kick position. This combination creates a really good overall glute exercise because it's really working all of your glute muscles at once. 
This one's actually a lot harder than it looks, so I usually do this one at the end of my workouts. I try to do all my heavy weights and barbell stuff first, and then I try to do my more at-home exercises last. I do about 15 on each leg, and I'll probably do about four rounds. Good mornings are really great towards the end of your workout. It's going to be a similar position to what we did in deadlifts where you basically you force your hips backwards, you really feel it in your hamstrings, and you keep your weight in your ankles. So you just want to make sure that your back stays straight and your core stays tight. I really don't do a lot of weight for these. I think I have 10 pounds on each side and then just the barbell. You can do them with dumbbells as well if you want to work on increasing weight with these or increasing strength with these I usually just do about 10 sets in four rounds it's almost more of like a stretch for me at the end of my workout So I don't have reps or rounds for these because this is an insane way to end your workout. Basically, I'm just doing cardio to burn out. I'll do jumping squats and jumping lunges until I feel like I need to go home, <laughs> which is very soon in just a second here. <laughs> So, hope you loved it, hope you enjoyed it. Drop a comment, let me know if you did it. Drop a comment, let me know what you'd like to see next, and I will see y'all next time.